first step in the installation process is to install your heavy duty C-clamps on the base frame. The ideal location for these are midway between the motor and blower or midway between your inlet and outlet flange of your blower on the base frame if space permits. For the sake of this video, we're going to be installing the auto lubrication system on the outlet end of this Hoffman 732 blower. To install the brackets, loosen up your pinch bolts, slide it over the base frame, and tighten them down. The next step is installing your heavy duty bracket. To install the bracket, remove the socket head cap screws from the C-clamps. Place the socket head cap screws through the slots in the back of the bracket. Once we have the heavy duty bracket installed, we can now begin with installing the plumbing. First step is to install a 90 degree elbow on the bottom of the bracket. Apply thread sealant to the threads. We also need to install a barbed fitting into the elbow that we just installed. Be sure to apply thread sealant to the threads. The next step is going to be to determine the location where the grease is going to be applied on your blower. On this Hoffman 732 blower, that is going to be in this cap just behind the bearing on the bearing housing. Typically this is where it will be on most machines. Remove the plug and install a hose barb here. Apply thread sealant to the threads. and thread the hose barb into the housing. Once the barbed fittings have been installed, it is now time to determine the appropriate length of hose to go from the bracket to the point of application on your machine. Once you have done so, apply grease to the bottom hose barb. This will help with installation of the hose. Once you have installed the hose to the bottom of the bracket, it is now time to purge the line full of grease. In order to do so, you must first rotate the valve on the bottom of the bracket. If you do not rotate this valve, it will allow grease to pass through the top of the bracket where your lubricator mounts, and we don't need grease going there. We just need it to come out the end of this hose. So, we need to remove the protective covers over the grease fittings. Attach our grease gun and begin pumping the line with grease. Continue to pump grease into the line until you begin to see it come out the opposite end. Once you do see it come out the other end, apply a little grease to this hose barb. and install the hose. Once the hose has been installed, we recommend giving an additional pump of grease to ensure grease is flowing into the bearing housing. Remove the grease gun and be sure to reopen the valve on the bottom of the bracket. If you do not do so, the lubricator unit will not be able to pump grease through the plumbing and into the bearing housing. If it looks like there are any locations where the hose may contact the blower, 
We recommend installing the spiral hose guard to protect the hose from melting or any other damage due to heat. Once you have your auto lubricators all set up and programmed, we can begin to install them in the bracket. First, remove the protective cap on the bottom of the lubricator and simply thread it in. Power your unit on and install the heavy duty cover. We have now installed the auto lubrication system on one end of one blower.